We who live around the Baltic Sea use it in many ways to benefit our economies and well-being. But our activities both on sea and on land have also affected the environment, causing threats to species and impacting the benefits we gain from the sea. To restore the health of the Baltic Sea environment, all nine Baltic coastal countries and the EU work together through HELCOM. HELCOM members have committed to the ambitious Baltic Sea Action Plan and to global sustainable development goals. To follow up on the progress towards reduced eutrophication and hazardous substances, thriving biodiversity and safe marine activities, countries monitor and jointly assess the status of the marine environment. For the recent State of the Baltic Sea report, HELCOM members have agreed on core indicators to measure whether the different parts of the ecosystem have reached good status. The report looks into all major human activities and assesses their pressures on the marine environment, adding up their total impact on species and habitats. Combining a wide range of information, this groundbreaking report creates a comprehensive, holistic assessment of the current state of the Baltic marine environment. The report shows that we've made some progress, leading to certain signs of improvement in the marine life. For example, inputs of nutrients in the sea are lower than in many years. Smaller amounts of certain hazardous substances are ending up in the sea, and there are less and smaller oil spills than before. But the report also shows that the improvements made so far have not yet been sufficient for the Baltic Sea to recover. Most of the Baltic Sea is still suffering from eutrophication. There are several hazardous substances which still cause problems in the environment. Many species are still threatened. For example, fish are smaller and grow more slowly than before, and there are worrying signs across the food web. So, although we are making progress, the Baltic Sea is not yet in a good state. We polluted the sea heavily for decades in the past, and it's taken a long time to achieve reductions. So it's no surprise it takes even longer for the environment to recover. Some agreed actions are yet to be completed. New complex issues are constantly emerging and developing, and they challenge us to keep learning. The State of the Baltic Sea report gives a clearer picture than ever before of where we are now, how things are connected, and what still needs to be done. In order to secure a sustainable future, we must now put the new knowledge to use.